uh, welcome to this seminar with title is turbochargers versus hydraulic power recovery turbine energy recovery in the oil and gas industry my name is beatriz tejero and my intention is to talk to you about energy recovery in the oil and gas industry is using one particular process from the oil and gas industry and well and applying two different rotating machines in order to explain the, the energy recovery itself. So we will be going through these uh, main sections. Uh, I will try to deliver, develop a little bit the same. So let's begin. As I told you, we were talking about energy recovery in the oil and gas industry, about in which part of the, the processes on the pressure reducing valves. On the past, the pressure reducing valves are used to reduce, reduce pressure, suiting, the, suiting the, the flow to the process conditions. And this, in these pr pressure reduce valves, ui, this goes too fast. In these pressure reducing valves, a lot of energy is dissipated and wasted. So the first attempt to use this energy into another part of the process was the hydraulic power recovery turbines. And this is already used on the oil and gas, but nowadays these hydraulic turbines are being substituted by the turbochargers. And the turbochargers have been already developed in chemical plants and they are starting to move forward in the oil and gas industry. So the first would be why to recover energy. So if you can see in this slide, the prices of the crude oil has been reduced since the last two years and the oil and gas industry wants to keep their benefit margins and remain competitive, so they need to reduce their production cost. Looking into a process that in this slide we can see the main areas when we can make an, a process improvement. So we will focus on this presentation onto the motor application and the process optimization. As I told you, the process that we are going to use as a baseline in order to develop this energy recovery application is the linamine process, that it's a very well-known process. And in this process, what we is usually do is the crude gas goes into the contactor. This contactor wears a very high pressure. The, in the contactor, a mine is used to remove the H2A, CO2 and impurities on the gas. And after the contactor, it goes to a pressure reduced valve uh, where the supposed energy saving is dissipated and after that it goes to the flux tank. There the gas and the impurities are flushed and the lina mine is going to a heat exchanger, a mine recovery system and then is sent back. You can use the, the pointer. Ah, sorry. <laughs> and then is sent back to the contactor here. So this is the process. And this is more or less the explanation that I have already told you. So looking into the process, we have to have this process in mind, what we can do in order to improve and save energy. We, we can be thinking about on the pump itself, selecting a correct size of the pump, selecting a nice flow at a suitable differential head, trying to reduce as much as possible the requirements. Also, we can select the best pump efficiency, the, the pump with the best VAP available, best efficiency pump. Looking onto the driver side, we can substitute the electric motors where it's feasible. We can be thinking about using more efficient motors as well, and we can be use, using to suit to process conditions, variable speed dryers. But if we think about the process size, what, what can we do in this process? Change this valve and use two different rotating machines that I will explain now. In this case, we will be talking about reducing pressure into liquids, so we will be talking about application of hydraulic turbines. This table is one table that I took from one paper already presented on the Turbine Machinery Symposium, which tries to classify the energy saving methods into three different categories. The first one, I think that it's very small, you cannot be able to see anything, <laughs> but in the paper is bigger. So here they are primary methods, secondary methods, and file methods. And this paper is very interesting, and all I can tell you here, as much as you can read, is that turbine, hydraulic turbines are classified as secondary methods. So this is the previous process, right? And what we are doing here, we are substituting the pressure release valve by this rotating machine. With this rotating machine, the turbine is 
doing the job of the pressure reduced valve. So it takes the amine with the H2S and CO2, it uses the energy that it's coming from the conductor who works at a high pressure, and then it, it uses this energy to help the motor, which helps as well the pump to send this current coming from the amine generator back to the process. 